Hello everybody. Welcome to the video lecture series of operating system. Today's session we are continuing with the topic input output management and disk streaming. Specifically, we are focusing on disk streaming right now. Myself, Kunal Pinchal, your instructor. In this particular session, we are going to discuss circular scan disk scheduling algorithm. It is also known as C scan disk scheduling algorithm. So, C stands for circular. So, circular. Okay, so we have already discussed scan disk scheduling algorithm. There is one minor modification in scan algorithm. If we compare with you know circular scan algorithm, that we are going to discuss with the help of example. But based on the understanding of scan algorithm, we are going to discuss the working of circular scan is scheduling algorithm. So let us discuss the circular scan algorithm. Again, we have you know same set of you know inputs like 200 uh, tracks we have if we still contains you know uh, the number of tracks the same number of tracks that we have taken in states the same uh, track number we have taken over there okay uh, so that we can compare the performance of uh, the different algorithm that is the reason why we have taken the same uh, number of tracks and same number of you know uh, Track number as far as increase is concerned, and it's uh, the same current rate, uh, current rate position, which is nothing but 50. Okay, and then you have to calculate the total number of track tickets by regrading. So, in this case, also, because we have discussed already scan, one extra thing you need to have as I input in your examination, which is nothing but direction. Direction needs to be given as I input in your examination. So, direction I have already below color. So, direction in this case you have to consider towards the larger value first. Towards the larger value first. So, uh, whatever the number of your request we have, which is larger than 50, that request will be fulfilled first in one go and then we will come back to satisfy the remaining request, which is. Is then 50. Okay. So let us discuss this game uh, by having same track numbers. I have explained these track numbers we are going to discuss. This is a So uh, we need to start the journey uh, from the current rate position and position is nothing but 50. Now, because we need to start the journey, journey of the direction is given towards larger value. So definitely the first request will be 60. 60 is satisfied. Okay. Once 60 is satisfied, the next request is 79. 79 is satisfied. Once 79 is satisfied, the next request will be 92. 92 will be satisfied. Then the next request is 114. 114 is satisfied. Then the other request is 176 in the same direction. Okay, so 176 is uh Satisfied. Fine. Now, uh, once in this one go, what is the first direction? As you can see, in the case of uh, scan algorithm, once we started our journey in a particular direction, so in that direction, it will reach to the last track. Same thing is applicable over here. There is no change in first direction. So we will reach to the last track number that is 199 in this case. Okay. Instead of you know having 170, instead of considering 176 is the last increase in this particular direction, still we are moving forwards to forward towards last track number. And once we reach the last track number, then we will uh, change our direction in this case. So, up till now there is no change as far as uh, 
scale and see scale is concerned. Fine. But now there is a change and to change a direction. That's very first time in that case. So uh, in that case now we are uh, moving forwards from you know 199 towards lesser value. But while you change the direction, so now we are in opposite direction and forwarding moving uh, towards in you know, opposite direction you are not allowed to satisfy any request once you reach to the initial position or this initial track number of the disk so what things are happening in this case once you started your journey in a particular direction, it will satisfy the number of requests, it will reach to the end, end position. And once you uh, start your journey in opposite direction, at that time you won't allow to satisfy any request. And once you reach to the zero position, then again you will start the journey in opposite direction. And while starting uh, the journey at that time simultaneously we are going to satisfy the request as well in this case. Fine. So the in this case, once we started from zero, the next request will be satisfied is uh, eleven. Okay. Then second is uh, nothing but thirty four, and the last one is nothing but forty one. So in the last request we will end up our execution. We will not reach to the and uh, track number in this case. So there is one change if you compare scan and C scan. In the case of C scan, while moving towards opposite direction, we are not allowed to satisfy the request at the same moment of time. And definitely in this case the number of track movements would be higher as compared to scan. So it means what performance is poor as compared to scan algorithm in the case of scan. Why? Because while traveling in the opposite direction, we are not allowed to entertain any request. So definitely the number of track movements will be increased. So first is uh, 199 minus 50 and 199 minus 0 and then 41 minus 0. So total 389. So you can see if we compare the value of total movement in uh, scan and we compare the value of total track movements in C scan. Definitely this value is darker than the previous one. So the, uh, this algorithm suffers from uh, poor performance as compared to scan algorithm. So I hope it was uh, clear to you. Thanks for watching this video. See you in the next one.